Alrighty. Hello, everybody. Uh, 4L60E assembly. Not quite a rebuild because I'm not replacing a lot of stuff. I uh, just had a torque converter die on me and I wanted to go through and make sure everything on the inside was good and replace anything if it needed to. Um, it was still working fine. Nothing, no shift issues, nothing like that. Uh, the torque converter was destroyed and it still drove fine. It just had a whole bunch of like black soot in the bottom of my pan and the fluid was always really dark. So sent that back to get repaired under warranty and figured while that's happening, I will tear this thing down and go through it, make sure I don't need to replace anything, and then uh, put it back together. So, uh, step one, uh, obviously disassemble it, but for reassembly step one uh, is, I already did it because I wasn't planning on making a video till after I did this, um, but it's the piston at the bottom there. Uh, you compress the spring cage, pop it out, take the piston out, clean, put new seals on it, and then put it back in and compress the spring cage again and put the snap ring back in. Oh, and also swap the bearing out while, or not the bearing, the bushing out while you have the piston out. Uh, yeah, let's get started. So since that's done, new bushing, all that good stuff. First thing that goes in is going to be the lower ring gear, which is this thing. Uh, it's got a bushing, or a, a Torrington bearing, not a bushing. It goes right here, and it just slides in there right through. Actually, let's do it like this. It goes to the hole. Make sure it spins nice and pretty. Awesome possum. All right, coming up next is the actual planetary assembly, which is right here. I already got another bearing on there. All good to go. So I did, I am upgrading to five pinions for this uh, because I had the opportunity to get some for a price that if you passed up, you'd be dumb. Uh, so here they are. I just got some assembly glue on there to hold it in place. The bearing, when I push it down, then it just goes right in the ring gear. like that. Still spinning nice and smooth. Uh, you want to pre-lube all the planetary gears in there uh, before you do that, especially if you're cleaning it out with some sort of part solvent. It'll get all the fluid out of there. So re-lube re, uh, re it and you should be good to go. Make sure that they don't wobble. They can move up and down a, a little bit, but not much. But if they wobble side to side, that's no bueno. But everything was good. They're factory ones out of a 4L65. So pretty stout, pretty neat. I'm glad I could find those. All right, so coming up next is going to start the uh, low reverse clutch pack. So looks like this. I already have it all set up like that because I put everything together to check clearances, but we'll start with first one, a little wavy plate. As you can see, this one right here has a little notch in it. So the notch goes down with the little notch to the left. So make sure that's the right one. Yep, right there. And then for steel, same thing, notch down to the left. But make sure you put a steel on top of the wavy plate or else uh, if you just put a clutch on top of the wavy plate, it will not be a good day. So 
All right, first friction. Next steel. Next friction. Next steel. Next friction. Steel. Friction. And the final steel. And the final friction. Next thing, this little thing. Anti-clunk spring, uh, anti-rattle device, whatever you wanna call it. It goes right here with the flat piece to the left. It only fits in there one way, so shouldn't mess it up. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit of lube on this top one just for good measure. Next is the low reverse housing or backing plate or whatever you want to call it. Uh, make sure you take this apart, inspect it, all that good stuff. It goes, the big notch over here lines up with the big spot in the case over here. Just like that. get there and then once you get it down all the way you're gonna want to press and it'll match itself with that uh, clunk spring and then you're gonna rotate the race till it locks in with the planetary and then you're gonna push down so that's installed let's get the snap ring put the snap ring in so you want the snap ring to not go over the 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 like springy part of the anti-clunk spring, but you want it to sit in front of the flat part. So that's what we're gonna do. Put it there. Push down. And just like that. All right, step one is done.